Hello, welcome back to Zelda Minish Cap. In our last episode, we fused a lot of tin stones. So today we're going to be going around collecting some of the stuff we fused. And then we'll be heading on to the Caster Wild, the new area with the wind element towards the end. So we really want to explore, make sure we didn't miss anything, but we also want to go pick up some of those chests and events that happened when we fused last episode. Now I'm slashing away at a lot of grass because we spent a lot of rupees but we also used a lot of tin stones. So we need to find more of both throughout this next few episodes just so we can get back to fusing things again. Now I'm going to have to check the map to see where everything we fused fell. I know there's some stuff in Lake Hylia, uh, up in Lon Lon Ranch. Even a few things fell to some areas that we haven't been before, so we might not be able to get everything right away. Nice having that new sword attack and not having to pick up and throw pots anymore. And just chop at them with our sword at least now. Yeah, just checking out where a few things landed. Now we did have that uh, ladder up here in Long Lawn Ranch. And that was from a red kin stone, so that should be something important at least. I guess we can't go back that way, we're gonna have to go around. Uh, we don't have the piece for him. As you can see, we're getting kind of low on kinstones after the last episode, but we'll collect some more. It'll be okay. Alright, we got the bigger wallet. It's helpful. Now that we spent all our rupees, we're going to have to collect some more. Oh, 
Okay, we haven't been through here yet. Hopefully there's something new or good up here. Alright, that's our second piece of heart. So we got a couple more to go and we'll have another full heart container. Seems like that grass is kind of a maze when you're minish, but a cow gets in your way and suddenly you're trapped in there. Yeah, I can't remember if we did everything through here, so... Oh no, the stone blocked our path. Now we're going to have to jump down from up top. Now, I think becoming Minish here just allows us to fuse tin stones with the dog. I don't think there's much else in here we can do as a Minish. Yeah, I think we've done what we can up here. Oh yeah, the veil falls. We can't do too much up here either. That area in Lake Hylia, there isn't much we can do yet. Kinda wanna check out the new garden that opened up to us in Hyrule Castle. And then maybe head on towards Castor Wild soon.
Okay, that's the other way into the Veil vale Falls, but we can't get over to that heart container yet. That Hyrule Castle Garden, we really haven't done much here yet. Okay, we're gonna have to light up this room before we can get the sword technique. If only we had a way to light those two fires in there. I'll have to try and find the Castor Wilds. It's been so long since we've been over there. It's been a few videos ago now since we had to get the boots and everything, so... It might take me a minute to figure out my way back over there, but... Now that we have the boots, we'll be able to move past the swamp and go explore that area. Okay, we already did that. Now I think this is the way towards the Castor Wilds. Yeah, when we start seeing Moblins, we know we're on the right track. Alright, so by fusing that, we've opened up the road. Not sure what's down there, but we'll have to check it out.
Oh, that other chest we dropped is blocked by a, a big log, so we can't even get to it yet. At least I think that was one of the ones we got by fusing. That lady said she liked the dark. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening down here. I think we're just gonna casually walk away from this for now. Oh, they have bows now. Not looking forward to randomly getting hit by arrows. Like, they're not too tough to defeat, just if you don't see them coming. It's kind of nice that they all drop five rupees, though. That'll let us build some of ours back up at least. Okay, so it seems like if we water that bean sprout over there, it might grow and do something for us. We'll have to fill up a bottle with water at some point to take care of that. back to the caster wild but this time with pegasus boots so the swamp's not gonna stop us anymore So there's a couple ways to explore here. There's the bottom area under these logs, and there's this top area. So we're gonna start by looking around up top. Now usually you need the bow to defeat those guys, but we'll see maybe if we can kill one with a bomb. If not, we'll have to find a bow to get past that guy. Uh, the other one's blocking the other part of the path. So we're gonna have to find a bow, but I think we're out of time, so come see us in the next video of Diminished Cap, and as always, thanks for watching.